Milton Daily Homes Chuck here, and uh, if you're going to be in town this weekend, definitely join us for a tour of homes. Come meet us at Starbucks. There's lots of ways that we can help you out, and it's far better than trying to kind of self-prescribe, go to open houses that may not fit what you're looking for. We custom tailor the tours to the people that are on the tour, so we make sure that everybody gets what they want, and it's a really valuable experience. It's not always about finding the perfect home. Oftentimes, it's about seeing what's available in your price range. And even if you're six months away, nine months away, there's still value in going on a tour early because when you come back and look at homes online, it's going to make so much more sense. So in your researching phase, it can, it can be really, really good. Then we have a buyer class coming up on February 11th as well. So let's get to today's list. We've got Black Drive at 399 And so it's a townhouse. It's about 1,900 square feet, and it's kind of a sideways floor plan. But uh, here's the thing. is it, It's 120 feet deep, but it backs onto Thompson Road. And, you know, I just, I'm not a big fan of this one myself. Um. Uh, Hamilton is at 424.9. Take this one in a heartbeat because Hamilton's a nice quiet street. You've got a fully detached home about the same size, 1820 square feet. For really, the difference is probably about 80 bucks a month to jump to something like this. Far better value in my opinion. And so you've got your living dining here. The family room, you've got a fireplace, plus you've got some California shutters. And everybody loves this kitchen. It's a nice little breakfast bar. It's got a little uh, bay window here that tucks the table in perfectly. So fantastic floor plan. The one complaint a lot of people have is that the master bedroom only really has a double sliding door closet and not a walk-in closet. And the ensuite's a little small too, but what you get is you get laundry upstairs, so that's certainly a positive feature. Three bedrooms on this one, and that one definitely gets two thumbs up. It's very, very nice. So Savaline, 434.9. It's a semi-detached, about 2,200 square feet. We profiled one about 25,000 higher than this over in the Heathwood area. And I would, you know, I if I was going to buy a semi, I'd make the jump to that one before this. Uh, I've seen this floor plan before. <clears throat> to me, it feels really long and narrow. I'm not the hugest fan. Uh, it does have a gas stove, nice appliances, and the rooms might look a little smaller just because of all the stuff in them. But uh, you know, to me, uh, yeah, again, I would probably go with the previous one on Hamilton before something like this. Uh, Mention is at 519, and it's one of the Mountain Me Spirit plans. So it's a four bedroom. It's got, I believe, a loft upstairs too, extended pantry. The photos look a little bit dark, but it's actually a nice floor plan. And, uh, you know, these guys are doing okay. I think they're right in range. I think they're in a good spot. Uh, McGuire Terrace is 549, so it's a winter grove, so it's a split level. So it, all, it kind of has half levels. That's the family room right here, and then the bedrooms go up even further. Um, in the fall, one of these sold for... I think it was like, you know, 512 and it had a finished basement. So, you know, good for the buyers. But I mean, for, for the sales of these places, it, it definitely affected them. Nice upgrades, though. I love the pot lights through here. You can put a TV in this area and that usually overlooks the kitchen. And you've got the walk up to the uh, to the family room. So, it, I mean, it looks really good. I find the bedrooms on these are a little bit smaller. You've got an upgraded bathroom countertop under Mount Sink. And uh, I think they've got some good upgrades. So you know what? Some seasons passed. You know, you've got a couple months later. These guys could end up doing pretty well. Uh, there's some good square footage for the uh, for the money. I think it's it's just the upgrades that are really going to push these guys up. Uh, Harrison is at 579, and you've got a 56 by 138 foot lot. Looks like one side is even deeper. And Old Milton, and uh, you've got an upgraded kitchen here. Although stainless steel appliances, I think, would have really set this one off. Uh, good backsplash. you got lots of space in there. French doors, California shutters. Uh, surprised there's no pictures of the yard, because obviously that's a huge selling feature. And uh, Harrison, to me, is one of the better streets in, uh, in Old Milton. I'd put it in my top, maybe top five or six. Uh, Luxton is at 589. And so this is called a Mannington Corner. And so when you come in the side door, because it's really like a side door, You've got almost the kitchen and family room wing, and then you also have a dining room, and then there's a, a living room that could be used as an office over where the camera guy is standing. And uh, you've got a long kitchen. You've got tons of cupboard space. So if you have a lot of kitchen uh, items, this one can be really, really good. One of my favorite things, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to, to show in the pictures, but 
Upstairs on these models, there's kind of like this open den area between a couple of the bedrooms, and it's the perfect place to have the kids' video game room or homework room. It's a, it's a fantastic place. It's upstairs, so they're not making mess on the main level, and uh, really good. So Luxton's a nice street. Um, that's typically in the range of what these ones normally uh, go for. So I like how they avoided the mess kind of at $599, and there's a lot of listings right now up around that range. So Simon's is at $599, and you know what's amazing to me? There's a home absolutely model, spectacular, beautiful, that sold just down the street, very similar model to this one. And some people see those sales and they go, oh, I could do that. But these guys don't have the features the other one does. It's just, it's not the same home. Uh, you know, the other one was just like, just pimped out. Like it was amazing. And so these guys have the shared features. They back onto the pond. Uh, but I just don't think they're going to get the kind of money, which the other one sold for, let's just say, close to this asking price. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it, okay? Because that one really was a wow. Now, Somerville is the last one. It's $699. It's a 3,700-square-foot home. They don't even make them on 56-foot lots anymore. And it's only an 80 feet deep, so it's not a huge backyard. But it does back on the green space, and it's got a walkout. And to me, that's huge. And there was one that just sold over on Tuxford recently and uh, w with no green space behind, 400 square feet smaller than this one and it was it was pretty high up in the sixes so these guys I think have chosen a good price I think they have a lot of unique features you can't find anywhere else and I think they were very very smart to be under seven and uh, that's the municipal fence right there uh, you'll probably see in the virtual tour that there's a gorgeous view right over that little ravine there. You're close to the library, you're in a great school district. So this is uh, this is fantastic stuff. I think that's a great listing. So I haven't given out a Chuck pick of the day for a while and uh, maybe I'll hold off till next week, but there's some good ones in the list. Have a great weekend. Again, join us if you wanna come out and uh, we'd love to help you. Have a great weekend, take care.